Hi, I'm Donald Scott uh, uh, from Donald Scott NYC, and I'm here with Free Salon Education. And this is my beautiful model, Allison. Allison is a doctor, or going to be a doctor. So we're going to perform some surgery on her. Uh, okay. All right. What I'm going to do now is I'm using the wide tooth comb, our wide tooth carving comb. 50% carve, 100% carve, and I'm using the wide teeth because her, she's got curly hair and she has thicker hair. And I'm going to be using the wide tooth comb, and I'm also going to be using our billet aluminum chopstick that has a guarded edge to it. Okay, and we're going to start out. We're going to take diagonal sections from the from the occipital bone. I'm going to take diagonal section following the head shape following the head shape and going right into the side section of hair. Okay, we've actually taken one section, I just felt it out a little bit. So I've got one, two, three cutting edges in my hand at the same time. Carving comb, Chopstick Pro, Donald Scott NYC. Okay, I'd like to use a clip. Also, we prepared Allison's hair with our liquid tool glide has coconut and sunflower oil and silk powder, which prepares the hair and allows the razors to slide effortlessly through the hair. So I'm gonna just try it. This is a working tool, prepares a working tool, so we, we, layer, the, we, we layer the prepare on the hair as we go. So I'm gonna continue taking, taking sections, nice thin sections, okay? Keep my fingers, and either we can slide it through and the reason why we could cut curly hair is because we prepare the hair with prepare. There's plenty of myths out there that say we can't cut curly hair, we can't cut, uh, we can't cut dry hair, but we can because we, use, we prepare the hair with prepare. We also have a little bit of a kind of a chopping motion. or I'm over directing backwards and just sliding through. Remember, hold your razor at a nice 45 degree angle. Okay, and I'm gonna be building that weight. Again, following the head shape, take your sections nice and clean, over direct back. Okay, continue, always comb from the regrowth area. Let me take one more section. I'm gonna slightly elevate. I don't want to get too much bulk behind the ear. And let's see what we've got, what we've, what we've got here. Okay, now I'm going to continue these sections till I get to the corner of the ear. This is great, I love my chopstick. Okay, continue over directing. And actually what we'll be doing is releasing all the weight in her hair. Notice I'm actually going actually all the way to the opposite side. Again, elevate. I love this technique. This is because it's going to, this, the fall line is going to come out. Okay, we're going to be doing a lot of free form. We're going to be doing a lot of free form work with the 50% carve on the white, on the, on the uh, white tooth carving comb. Okay, we're at the corner of the ear. I think I'm gonna take one more section. And notice other than other, ra than other razors out there, we're doing, it's a nice smooth, it's not really a, a chopping effect. It's a very smooth glide. And the razor just glides through that hair. The pair is excellent with the glide. That's, it's specifically designed to allow the razor to glide through the hair.
It seals the cuticle layer. It allows the razor. It saves your blades. It saves the blades. It seals it. It, it protects the hair. It protects the cuticle layer. Comb down and see your shape. I'm going to take the 50% carve. I'm just going to come into it and just carve out those edges a little bit. This is great if you've got a line of demarcation. You want to... This is what I mean by being spontaneous with it. We're at the corner. I'm going to take a diagonal section because I'm working off her existing length. I like to start out with my shape wet. Then I like to come into it. I like the hair to be dried and then I come back into it and do my free form. So this shape may change even, not drastically, but may change as we go along. Again, take a diagonal section. I always like to take a diagonal section because I'm always working with the, with the facial shape. Always comb from that root area. And again, she's got that nice texture in her hair. So I'm doing everything to build it out. Okay, what I'm looking at is I'm gonna look at, she's not, not getting too thick down there, which it is a little thick, but I can always wait till the last, last minute or when the hair is dry. Then I could do my, my, my redefining. She's got a lot of hair. Where'd you get all this hair? Let's cover it a little bit more. Add a girl. When I can't reach, I always have my my guest do the do the do the work. My last couple sections on the light side of the hair, on the light side of the head. I love this technique. Okay, I like to comb it flat and then come back into it just to see my shape and just scrunch it. Okay, and I'm going to stop with this shape on the light side of the head for now. I'm going to bring her back to the opposite side. Hair right. Vanna. <laughs> nice and clean. See, over direct backwards. This is a nice side. See how this just comes right in? Mm -hmm. Notice how that hair is, is just coming right into it. Okay, always remember your sections are the direction that you're cutting in. Whatever way you section the hair is the direction that your hair is, you're cutting your hair. Okay, I'm gonna give myself a little check here. Great. Oh my gosh, it's even. Okay, looking good, looking good. Deb, Allison. <laughs> okay. It's looking good, looking really good. Again, over direct backwards. You don't have to be afraid because it's a guarded razor. Yeah. 
Notice as I'm coming up with this movement, I'm just releasing more of the weight. see where we're going with this. We're staying on point. I love textured hair and curly hair. Okay, continue. Notice the sections. I'm going right into the side section. My blade is still nice and sharp. I like to use a new blade on each, on each guest. Sometimes I don't have to. And sometimes I've got such coarse hair that I'm, used, that I'm cutting with that sometimes I'll, I'll change my blade in, in the middle of the haircut. I really want this to open up now. Still have a visual here. Okay. Okay, just glide through, keep your fingers parallel to the parting. Wide tooth carving comb is such an excellent tool for this this thickness of hair. Bring it over a little. Ah, that's it. The luscious, gorgeous curls. And Allison actually got some highlights yesterday, which was great. You read my mind. I'm actually cutting the interior shape first because I want to have those creative options. So when we finish, when we finish the shape, I'm liking all what's going on here. Wow, you have a lot of hair. At our salon, we charge, we charge by the pound. <laughs> okay, right from the root area. Actually, we've had one section throughout this whole shape. We've got the beautiful Chopstick Pro by Donald Scott, NYC. We're here with free salon education in New York City. It's a little heavy. I'm seeing it's a little heavy. I'm going to just pick up this section. I'm going to do a little bit. I'm going to take the 50% carve, and I'm just going to come underneath with it and just take out a little bit of texture. I just want it to be just so it's not so heavy here. And I'll be doing that all the way up the shape. That's why you can be very spontaneous with, with our tools. Coming back over with the 50%. Actually, I'm going to come straight through that whole section. See it? I came right through it, getting into the fringe area. And then we're going to go around to the front. Again, my 50% carve. just to release some of that weight. Layer on the prepare. Now notice she's still a little thick in, in her fringe area. Let's just comb this all down and see where we're at with it. I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna resection. How you doing, Allison? You okay Great, under there, yeah. love? That's a, 
I like models like you. I don't have to worry about. OK, I'm picking up my section from the back. Just going to come into it and just doing some pinch carving. I just thought it was a little heavy on her, and I would just bring this up a little bit. I think it's a better, shows her neck a little bit better. Just take this off. A little bit heavy and below the nape. I'm going to come into it. Love this technique. Use a little prepare. I think I might leave this a little bit on the asymmetry side. Okay, this is the shape. This is the preliminary shape. We used our Chopstick Pro by Donald Scott NYC for, for its free salon education. We used the wide tooth carving comb, 50% carve, 100% carve. We used the wide tooth carving comb because the hair was thick and wavy. And uh, I'm Donald Scott for Donald Scott NYC uh, with free salon education. <laughs> I keep saying free form because that's our technique, free form precision. Thank you so much for joining us. So this is our finished product. Uh, this is Allison, and this is her beautiful, 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 beautiful wavy curly hair. Uh, and this is what we do with our razors. And so we, we dispel the myth that we cannot cut curly hair with razors. So this is, this is, this is the proof in the pudding. Uh, but I'm going to take, we still have the wide tooth carving comb, and I still have my chopstick. So I'm just going to go through it. And if there's any heavy pieces, I'm just going to come into it and just kind of just pick off pieces that are a little bit heavy. The blade still seems to be sharp. Okay, just, and so this is my free form. This is the epitome of free form. And we call this our pinch carving because we're actually pinching, pinching the edges and just combing through it. Top seems to be a little bit heavy. I'm going to take that top up a little bit. I'm going to take my channel carve. I'm just going to come in through it. If you have any, if you have any questions on any, any of the looks that we've, we've done or any of the tools that you'd like to use is, uh, or you would like to learn more, uh, click on Donald Scott NYC or one of our links at the bottom of the page. And thank you so much. And thank you very much, Matt Beck and Justin uh, from Free Salon Education. <laughs> <laughs>